Wakilu Wakili Fulani Warlord arrested in Oyo after gun battle with security operatives. Police uh, operatives in Oyo said Wakili was arrested with three others. Iskilu Waliki, notorious Fulani Warlord in Oyo State, has been arrested by a team of security operatives in Ibarakwa area of the state. Wakili was reported to have challenged Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Buhu, a political enforcer uh, to the state to uh, in the state to a duel after a letter issued evacuation notice to the headsmen in the southwest confirming the arrest of Wakili, the self acclaimed Fulani warlord on Sunday March 7, 2021, uh, it was a report that the police public relation officer in Oyo State, Benga Fadi Yi, said Wakili and three others were already in police custody. Fadi Yi said yes, he was arrested with three others. Oguntola Adeola, the security operatives, also told the online news platform that Wakili's arrest was carried out after a gun battle. Adeola said Wakili has been parading himself as a Fulani warlord in Ibarakwa area. He was arrested after a gun fight with Udua People Congre People's Congress and other security groups earlier on Sunday. He was arrested with three of his fighters. He said he was sick and has been taking treatment in Kutunu, Republic of Benin. He also said that he only kept re returned to Barakwa from Kutunu Saturday, but it was a lie. After arrest, he stopped talking to us. Danny Adams, the Are Ono Kankanfu of Yoruba land, also has also confirmed Wakili's uh, arrest. In a statement issued through Kendi Adiremi, the special assistant on media, Adams uh, praised the security operatives for their effort. He said, I am happy that the notorious kidnapper had been captured alongside three others. It is a good development and a positive signal to other criminal elements that the Southwest is no longer an abode for bandit kidnap kidnappers and criminal headers. I commend all the members of the joint security team that has made this possible because with uh, what is was seen, as my disposal, it was purely a neat job. It was purely a neat job, and we hope it will be a neat job to the end. Because all these arrests and arrests we have been hearing every day may end up turning to, uh, you know, another thing. Uh, this is Nigeria for you. Nigeria, where you can hardly see criminals being arrested and prosecuted. You will hardly see them being killed immediately. What you see afterwards is different. You will hear different stories from Nigeria. But come to think of it, is that not the best way? Is that not the best approach to what is going on in the country? When you get them, you get them and arrest them immediately, not leaving them. Oh, not and um, prosecute them immediately. If you leave them, they will show you the can You can be surprised that these people will just be released. But we hope the government of your state will not do that. They will take a uh, you know serious step because they are the security operatives have really done a lot by arresting uh the Fulani warlord in Ojo state. Uh, we hope this continues in other parts of the states of the country uh, whereby any notorious kidnappers, any notorious bandits 
will be put to shame, will be put to, uh, you know, destruction. Because if they are not being arrested, surely they will continue with their bad, in their bad uh, habits, in their bad character, in their bad business, which is not too good enough for our society. You will see now that uh, after its arrest, many uh, peace will be restored in Oyo State. He said he has been outside the country in Kotono Benin Republic for quite some time now. He only returned on Saturday. So they said it was all lies. It was all lies. He was actually in town when the Barakwa local government was on fire. Let's see what people have to say whether the security operatives that arrested him did the best or they did not uh you know do the best or what the people the populace want this one said that uh, if the man is actually found walking on the street tomorrow don't even pray any uh any legacy on him and his gang because it is becoming to show it is becoming to show that fullness has sh no shame according to your age what is what are you going to tell your god tomorrow if you die this man is not really a small child he's not a youth any longer he's an old man and if he found you know in all this mess he he, he, he was still found in all these kind of activities you can imagine how long he has been into this you can imagine how long he has been killing you can imagine how long he has been, uh, you know, kidnapping. Look at his look. Just look at his dressing. They get money, but what are they using the money for? They don't even take care of themselves. This man is an old man. Why is he involved in such a business? Why is he involved in himself in such a dirty games? He can say, glory be to Almighty God. Three goods are for the Eva uh, Ghani Adams. Three goods are for the team. Three goods are for Sunday Goho. And seven goods are for Udua. Okay? Udua security operator. They are giving you a uh, kudu uh, for what you have done. And their leader, Ghani Adams. Why bringing him alive with all the people he has killed? I'm afraid to release my religion. You see, that is the fear of everybody in the country. You can be surprised now that uh, this man will be found in the street tomorrow because the police can decide to release him because of all these bandits have the backings of some people. They have the backing of some leaders. They have the backing of some well-known people in the society. And that is what is giving them lever to do more. That is what is giving them, you know, strength to do, to commit their activities, their evil acts. First leader of BH was killed. First leader of bandits in Zamfara was killed. Ghana of Benue was killed. Why keep this one? That is the question. Why keep this one? Well, they cannot just take laws into their hands by killing them but i think these people have they they have the right to you know a uh, shoot aside they have the right to shoot aside anybody found uh, guilty of uh, any offense especially kidnapping robbery and uh, any banditry activity can be shot aside that is why this one is asking that question that uh, why will they release him why is this one different why was he arrested well i know uh, some people like uh people like uh you know Ghani Adams will monitor the case, will monitor the situation to the fullest and will not allow him go just like that. We not allow him. Hello Modua home. There are many ways to kill a rat without the traces of blood. Use our forefathers' method. So finish them gradually, even if they are released, they will become useless. We, we the Jebus, know how to do it. Okay?
that is the advice of this one saying that they should use their forefathers as a weapon to fight the Fulani warlord Wakili. Well, let's you know what your takes are on this new story. What is the best treatment that should be given to this uh, Fulani warlord who has caused many havoc, who has caused many destruction in the uh, state, in Oyo state. Thank you, and I will see you on the other news. Don't forget to subscribe to Jarish TV.